Hi there, my name's Charlie and this is Max TV. Now, my next item is something that I can definitely recommend because I actually bought one of these for my dad last Christmas. It's our personal alcohol breath tester. And let me tell you, this is such a useful gadget, which to be honest, I think is an essential for anyone who drives. And at just 9.99, well, it makes a great gift idea as well. Or if, like me, you can think of a couple of people you would like to give one of these to, well, we've decided that for all orders placed today, you can get a second alcohol breath tester half price. So that's just $14.99 for two. Or if you do just want to go for the one alcohol breath tester, the product code is MAX589. Now, if you've ever had to ask yourself, am I over the drink drive limit? then the answer is probably yes, and you should be calling a taxi. We all know that drinking and driving is certainly not acceptable, and of course, is something you should never take a gamble on. To be honest, if you know you're going to be drinking, then you really shouldn't drive at all. I think that these days, thanks to all the TV ad campaigns, most of us are very aware of the drink drive laws and wouldn't dream of breaking them. But the fact is that many drink drivers are the people that never intended to break the law and thought that a couple of drinks would be okay. I usually drink two pints most nights. Yeah, it varies. That's probably one at the most. Uh, I'll probably have two pints and then still drive home. Um, if I was going to still drive at the end of the night, if I was drinking, I'd probably just have one drink. And what about driving the morning after the night before? Have you ever done it? Uh, yeah, I must admit I have, yeah. I do have to admit I have driven after the night before. I have, um, but try not to. Well, with one of these alcohol breath testers, you'll be able to decide whether you really are safe to get behind the wheel. Now, what I love about this one is it's so completely tiny and pocket-sized, and also it's really quick and easy to use. Now, to use this alcohol breath tester, all you have to do is hold the power button in on the front of the unit. Now, you see there the yellow light lights up, and then in just a moment, the green light will light up. Once you've got your green light lit up, all you have to do is blow into the sensor just on the top here for a few seconds. After a few seconds, the traffic light coloured LEDs on the top will light up to show you your current breath alcohol level. Now you can see mine's lit up green. Now that indicates that I have under 0.02% blood alcohol content, which is little or no alcohol has been detected in my system. If it was to light up yellow, that would indicate that my blood alcohol content was over 0.02% and should be taken as a warning. And if you see the yellow and red lights up together, then that indicates that your blood alcohol content is over 0.05% and you have a high level of alcohol in your system and you definitely should not drive. Now, the legal drink drive limit in the UK is currently 80 milligrams of alcohol in 100 millilitres of blood. But the thing is that every one is different and factors like age, weight and metabolism can all affect the way our bodies process alcohol. Which is why this and many other alcohol breath testers out there are really just for indication purposes only and shouldn't be relied on for deciding whether you're over the drink drive limit or not. It's small enough in fact to clip onto your keys if you like and it does come with a lanyard. You can see we've attached it onto this one here for doing exactly that. Or you can use it without if you want to too. Yeah, the size of it um, fits in your bag quite nice, especially for a girl. Uh, shape's very nice, um, design's nice, something you can put in the car or in your pocket or in your bag or something. No, it's nice. Now, the unit itself is powered just by two regular AAA batteries. And as well as the breath testing function, you do have a built-in 24-hour clock with alarm and timer functions as well on this unit. This is certainly one of those gadgets that's very entertaining and fun to own, but on a serious note, it may just stop you from getting in the car, say the morning after a heavy night, when you might think that you're safe to drive, but actually you're still over the legal limit and therefore breaking the law. For the sake of less than £10, it's ridiculous to take the risk, especially when you consider that you could be end up being fined, banned from driving, having a criminal record, or even worse, causing a serious accident. It really is a no-brainer. Please don't take the risk.